Welcome back to our Mathematical Language and Symbols series. This is Mathematics in the Modern World and this is part 3 of our video presentation, Mathematical Language and Symbols. Okay, this part we will discuss with sets. To understand things around us, we must organize objects into their cap proper categories. This allow us to produce generalizations about the characteristics of objects in a class and as a result, act on them based on those characteristics. A set is the mathematics concept for categories of object. For example, living things constitute one set of things distinct from non-living things. And under the set of living things, there are three domains. We have bacteria, archaea, and eukaryota. These three domains constitute the three general subsets of the set of living things. And this classification is based on ribosomal structure. We often hear that as RNA, the molecules that compose ribosomes. We can refine this classification into six kingdoms. We have Archaebacteria, Eubacteria, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. Animalia. Again, these classes are sets. So, what are sets? Definition A set is any group or collection of objects okay a set is any group or collection of objects but mathematically a set has no definite definition also because it is depending on what it represent but we can have this is any group or collection of objects there are two methods to define a set we have roster method and the rule method. We will go through that one by one, but for this part of this series, we will have the rooster method only. Before that, we have this important notations or symbols that we can use in sets. First, we have elements. So, the elements is or are the members of the set. We call them elements. And to represent the elements, we need to enclose this into the bracket. Okay? Double bracket, open and close. The symbol, this symbol means an object element of, is found in or is an element of a set. Thus, if A is the set of the months in a year, then January is an element of A. In set notation, this is equivalent to January element of A if A represents the set of months in a year. Since Monday is not a month, then Monday is not an element of A. And we represent is not an element with this symbol. Okay, so to represent sets or a set, we use a variable. And this time, we use capital letters of the variables like capital letter A, capital letter B, capital letter C. As long as, again, what shall we do so that people can understand our variable, we should declare them where A is the set of months in a year. So, verbal description and roster method. Now, let's try to translate since we are dealing with mathematical language. So, verbal description. The set of all days in a week. Roster method is just listing all the elements. It is enclosed in open and closed bar brackets and the set is represented by A. Okay, here A is a variable that represents the set of all days in a week. 
So, A is equal to, what are the days of the week? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The other example is the set of all letters in the name Reggie Mativo. Of course, I will use my name. The roster method for that is, okay, I need to find a variable to represent the set. That is B equal to, you don't need to repeat repeating elements of the set. That's why I only write E one time. What else? I one time. Okay? Because you don't need to repeat all the elements exactly the same or else redundant na siya. So, take note that when we list down elements of a set, we do not repeat the elements of the set. Thus, even though letter G appears two times in my full name, we listed it only once in set B. As a convention, we also use capital letters to name set. The next is fundamental number sets. The fundamental number sets, it is composed of six. So when we say fundamental number sets, they are fundamental, important, and not replaceable. Okay, they are there always for us. So natural numbers or counting numbers. So these are one, two, all positive numbers from one. It does not include zero. Zero is not a counting number, therefore. And it is represented by N, big N, capital letter N, or an N with a design like that. Whole numbers. Whole numbers is a positive, positive numbers from zero. They are whole numbers to infinity. Integers represented by Z are from negative zero to positive this is whole numbers negative and positive integers are whole numbers from negative to positive another set fundamental sets of number we have also rational numbers represented by by q the set of all terminating or repeating decimals and they can be represented by x over y, where y should not be equal to 0. We have also rational numbers, the set of all non-terminating, non-repeating decimals, that is irrational numbers. Real numbers, the set of all rational and irrational numbers. So, if you try to imagine the cover, the covering part, or the umbrella of all these sets are real numbers and then divided by rational and irrational numbers. Okay, if we will make a diagram, so real numbers will be on the top and then the left side will be rational, the right side will be irrational and under rational numbers, we have whole numbers, integers and counting numbers. Using roster method to define a set of numbers. So we will have examples now using roster method to define a set of numbers. So example, the set of integers greater than 12. Simple. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And how will you write that up to infinity? Okay, let's show uh, let's see how it is written in the roster method. Again, rooster method is just listing all the elements. So that is how to write it. 13, 14, 15, dot, 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 dot. That means so on. Class, um, be sure to have a variable that represents the set of integers greater than 12. In this example, I was not able to to place it there because if you notice in your module it is written in a sentence form let's have the second example the set of negative integers greater than negative seven so 
negative integers, that means greater than negative 7 on sa man. The, remember, in the negative numbers, the lesser the value of the number without the negative, the greater it is in the negative integers. Kasabot mo ato. Kung mas gamay ang value, mas tako siya value. Ha! Mas, kung mas gamay ang value sa number, mas tako iyahang value sa negative. So, on sa diri ah. These are negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. And since there, these are just the negative numbers that is, or that are greater than negative 7, then we can list all of them really there. Third example is the solution set to 5x minus 8 equals 12. So, what is the answer? That there is only one number that can answer the value of x. That is a value of x. That is a solution to that equation. 5x minus 8 equals 12. So, the value will be... So, pag solve, ma'am? Balhin ang 8 sa right side. So, ibalhin ang 8 sa right side. Let me show you. 5 sorry ha, equals 12 plus 8 and then 5x equals 20 and then divided by 5 divided by 5 x equals how many, how much equals 4 so the only solution for this is this for okay so those are the examples of using rooster method to define a set if you have plenty of elements and you cannot write them anymore just use the dot 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 just mean just emphasize that the sequence is the same or else you you write the first few sequence like 5 15 20 25 and then to emphasize that there is an infinitely more of that when you continue use the three dots of this this is the last slide of this presentation so we have the rational numbers and irrational numbers whole numbers integers and natural numbers belongs to rational numbers because they can be represented as fractions. The rest shall be called irrational numbers. Example, pi, 3.14, 1.59. Until now, mathematicians are still solving the unendless value of pi. Ha? Kabalo ba mo nga hangtod ka na pa yung mga tao nga nag-solve kung unsa pa tumoy aning daghan ka ayong value sa pi. I mean, yeah, endless point something sa pi. Euler's number E. Okay, 2.71828 and there are still more. Golden ratio, phi. Phi ni silang duha. Okay, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, that is 1.618 blah 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 blah. Okay, square root of 2 square root of all natural numbers except square root of perfect squares are irrational. Okay? So, if they are perfect square, they are not irrational numbers. But the rest of those which are not perfect, perfect squares, they are irrational numbers. Like square root of 5, square root of 6, square root of 7, square root of 8. Okay, square root of 10, and the rest of that, they are irrational numbers. So, that's all for this. In this uh, part, I will be sending more videos later. I just need you to do all the exercises right after each video. So, thank you very much, and congratulations.